Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of this week's planner page um, using Pablo pencils. We've done a little bit of um, this. I finished off the flowers that I started um, in yesterday's video and uh, got those done. I'm not sure if you have or not, it doesn't really matter um, if you're a little bit behind. I've got a really shiny desk. I've been using this. Um, it's a sort of iridescent gold. It doesn't look that bright in the tub. But my goodness, when it's on your skin it uh, and on the desk, it shimmers. It's lovely. Anyway, <laughs> nothing to do with this. Let's crack on. I'm going to do, um, there's these flowers here and this one. Um, I think that's all. Oh, there's a few over here as well. There's quite a lot of these. I'm going to do start with these um, today. And uh, it's just coming up obviously coming into the wrong bit will go here. Now I've decided what colour I'm going to do these which is why I'm starting with those. Um, let's come in as close as we can. That's it. Okay so the centre I'm going to do in a yellow then the leaves, um, sorry the petals I'm going to do in a blue. Um, maybe one or two shades. I haven't quite decided and I haven't thought about the leaves yet but we'll get there. So I'm going to do the very centre in a slightly darker yellow. <clears throat> Excuse me, oops, let's just grab one. This is the yellow. You can see it looks fairly orangey, which is what I want. And let me just see which I've just put my finger there so I can see which one I'm <laughs> which one I'm zoomed in on. It'd be a bit embarrassing if I was colouring one over here that you know out of shot. <laughs> so quite hard in the middle and then a little less here and just um I'm going to use a second yellow just for the edges of those bits. It's quite nice to use two colours. So that's my first yellow. And then I'm going to use the, what's this one called? The canary yellow, which is a little bit um, lighter for the tips. And you can just go over all of that. And I can see, definitely see a difference. If you'd rather just use the one colour, there's nothing wrong with that. There we go. So that's our yellow. And then a blue. Now I want a fairly now thinking about the fact as we've been talking about yesterday, there's gonna be a um black background. So we need to think about the blue colour. Now I'm not gonna go if I show you the blues actually, it'll help you to pick. So here are my blues, so I just don't fit in. Uh, let's come out a little bit so you can see. There we go. So up here we've got our more violets. I don't want those. We've got our we've got a purple already. So I'm not going to look at any of these now. We can start this Prussian blue here is way too dark. The ultramarine. I always think an ultramarine looks like a big biro blue. It's not a colour that I particularly like. So for that reason, I'm not going to use it. That night blue is also still too dark. We need something that will mid blue. These are better. Um, here, I don't want this sort of this bluish grey here is too black in its toning. So I'm thinking the gen gentian blue might be quite a good one, or the sapphire blue. Actually, these two go quite well together. Um, these are a little bit too light, although the light blue is quite good. I'm thinking maybe the gentian blue and the light blue they work together. So I'm going to grab those out of my case. Now that's just the blue. I've got ones round the wrong way. There's the gentian blue. This is, will be the darkest blue that I'm using. And then the light blue. I'm just grabbing it out now. Sorry to be a bit boring. There we go. So let's start with our... Let's come back in. Nice and close. There we go. So here is our gentian blue. And I'm going to start darker near the centre. I always feel that makes sense to me. And we could um, we could go darker on the edge as well, make it lighter in the middle. But I think because we've got that black outline, it's actually better to fade it towards the outside nearer where it's black. It's going to be black. So I'm doing less, as you can see, much lighter pressure towards the edge and it's a little bit messy but we're going to go over with the lighter colour in a minute. I'm just trying to make sure it's as neat as I can do. I'm not that neat but you know we'll see. And the same here so a little darker here and then just layer it up less as you go towards the tip and I know this isn't easy to do. Some people are really really good at it. Just 
takes practice and I say it just, I mean it takes a lot of practice. I'm not that good and I've been doing it since, well, I've been colouring for nearly 10 years, so um, like daily. <laughs> I'm still not that good. So, you know, it, it does take a lot of practice. And so forgive yourself if you're not doing it perfectly, it's fine. It's not a competition. It should be fun. And then this one. So to go lighter towards the edge, like that. And then I'm going to grab my light blue. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you just about see it. <clears throat> and I don't want to go over this bit where it's darker. So I'm actually just going to start about halfway up. And then just, just making it look all the same colour really, isn't it? Mm, it's making it look tidier though, so I'm happy with that. I think it is a little bit lighter. But I think it's just a bit neater. But I don't want it too light anyway, because as I was saying to you yesterday, um, with too many light colours it can look wishy-washy. I mean, even though this yellow is a light colour, it's a strongish, intense-ish colour. It's not like pastel. Pastels I don't think work with black. It's just my opinion really. So that's that one. Now we've got lots of flowers like this and that's quite straightforward. So I'm thinking I'm not going to show you all of them because it's going to take a long old time. Now I know you, a lot of you say I don't mind if you just keep colouring and talking that's fine. Yes but this week we have got Johanna's new book coming out and I've got a few other videos I want to do as well so I've got a lot to fit in. So I know I need to leave a gap for my flip through. I'm hoping my book comes quite quickly. Got it on order. Who knows? Who knows? Very exciting. But let's do this green because um, you'll need to know what I'm doing with that. Um, again, choosing the greens. Um, for the To go with blue, I like a um, bluey green. So we've got our Varanese, our Peacock, our greyish green, those sorts of colours. We, what have we used already? We've already used the greyish green, so we won't use that again. Um, I'm thinking we could use the bluish green and the Varanese green. Those two might work nicely together. So I'm going to grab those, um, if I can find them. There's the bluish green. Um, there's the Varanese. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Varanese. I've never seen that word before. So here's the bluish green. And we'll do the sort of like we have with the petals, so a darker bit in here, it's going to be more shadowy. Like that, and just fade it off like that. And then the same here. Had a lovely weekend this weekend. Um, it's actually Monday morning I'm recording this. Um, um, there's sort of a week, a sort of week ahead really, I'm doing this. And uh, is the Varanese green. Um, same as the petals to start about halfway. Um, had quite a busy Saturday and had to get all my chores done because I was out on Sunday and we had a family get together which was really really nice. Um, my saw my parents, um, my sister, her two boys, my my sister's two girls as well with their boyfriends it's lovely now I'm not going to do the rest of those on camera I'm going to leave those and I'm going to move on to this one because I feel this is rather more it's come out it's quite a complex one so for those little ones I'm going to do them all identically so I don't think there's need for me to go over it too much. It's, I think it's fairly straightforward. I hope so. You can always take it back and rewatch it for a few and then once you're happy. Or you rewatch it and you do everyone. So you do the centre of everyone. This is how I'm going to do it. The centre of everyone, then the next yellow of all of them, and then the dark blue of all of them, and then the lighter blue of all of them. And then you have to keep remembering what's coming up. You can just, you know, it's, I find it easier for me anyway. Now this one, I've got to choose a colour. Um, for the centre I was thinking a sort of green goldy colour, but I've got to decide what colour leaves I'm doing <laughs> really first. Because we've used um, a lot of different colours. We've used reddy oranges here, 
we've used our blue, we've got a pink and our purple. We could go lighter orangey yellow. Um, that could work quite well, actually. I'm just looking. We've got orange and... Mm, let's, yeah, let's do this sort of lighter orange. So, I think this is the orange. Yeah, here is our orange. So I'm going to use this first. I'm not going to do the centre. I've changed my mind ab actually about what I'm doing for the centre. I'm going to do something completely different. So start with the orange and do the centre, the part, the leaves and petals. Oh my gosh, I'm not really explaining myself very well this morning. Um, it's uh, It's been a good morning actually. Um, it's still only ten past ten. Gosh, is it that late? No, it's ten past nine. The clock's changed yesterday. <laughs> my, I haven't changed the clock in here. Um, I was like, my goodness, where's that hour gone? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we changed the clocks on the, um, what date was it? The 28th, 29th of October at 2am. My son thought we'd change them at 12, midnight. He said, oh, I'd really like to stay up and watch them change on the computers and that, you know, and see what happens. I was like, you realise it's 2am when they change? He went, oh, OK, no then. <laughs> He normally goes to bed about quarter past 11 on a night when he doesn't have to be up the next day. Um, when he has to be up, he goes, he uh, usually goes to bed about 10, 10, 15. So, because uh, we he has to get up at sort of um, quarter past six to get the train. So uh, he's, uh, he, um, yeah, he's he works it out. He's quite, he's really lucky. He can just sleep in the space that he needs to sleep. Whereas for me, I have to have a routine, so like the clocks have changed. Um, I woke up at five o'clock this morning instead of six because the you know, clocks have changed. And I, did, I think I dozed a little bit, but um, yeah, it was like, ugh. And I could hear my other son, he was reading because he'd woken up early. So uh, he'll get used to it. We know we will, but it's just like, ugh. <laughs> like to have a moan. I always moan about the clock change. Oh, I hate it. Anyway. I want to try and make sure that I've got quite a lot of orange in this middle. So I'm just going to go back over it here all the way around. I'm not worrying about trying to put some shadow in to separate out the petals, things like that. I know you could if you want to be really, um, make it look really perfect and lovely, but I'm not, just not doing that. Um, this is, I think I've picked the wrong colour. Hang on a minute. This is, oh yeah, my colours are in the, yeah, no. Then my colours aren't in the wrong order. My brain's in the wrong order. <laughs> Fast orange. I don't think this is massively different to the orange that we've used, but I'm just going to use it on the tips. Um, yes, I don't like clock change, but it was a lovely get together. Um, lot too much nice food, as always. My mum put on the spread, and uh, yeah. Yeah, my niece um, is, um, how old, 22 on Halloween. Um, obviously, Halloween's already gone by as time as video goes out. But, uh, yes, we had a little party beforehand. So, uh, yeah, that's good. It's nice to get together with everybody. And uh, we played, um, we had a natter in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I played Catan. Um, my niece had got managed to get hold of the expansion pack, yeah, extension pack, so that we could play with six people. We didn't quite play it properly though, and it was really slow with six people. I think we um, there was an extra rule in there which we didn't do, and I don't know why. Um, my son said he thought it'd be complicated, but at the end he said no, actually it would have been much better if we had. Anyway, if you've never played, you've got no idea what I'm on about. But, um, so I won't try and explain. I'm just picking a colour for the centre and for the um, those little round seeds. I'm thinking I want to go quite dark. Like, not huge, huge dark. I'm thinking brown. Um, this brown. It's a slightly orangey brown, which I think might work. It does need sharpening, though. Just seeing if I've got my sharpener in here, which I have. Nicely organised. Or oh, coincidence, to be fair. So, brown. I'm going to do these circles now. 
because I've coloured over them because it's so difficult to colour around them and I know that because I was coming in with this darker colour I was always planning on a darker colour so I knew that I would be able to go over the top and if you put your orange down too thickly you wouldn't be able to do this but you could always use a pen a little brown gel pen or a brown fine liner whoops or um um you know something like a yeah gel pen or fine liner even a posca something like that but uh, i'm just trying to get it lighter towards the middle Yeah, our next get together is in December because um, it's my other niece's birthday and we've already organised our Christmas get together as well so mm, lots, of, lots of things to look forward to there we go I've got another two of these we've got one up there that you can see and then there's one over to the side I'm thinking again I might do these off camera but we've got the leaves to do first and I'm thinking I rather like an olive green with a orange as well you probably know now the olives vary there are some that are quite brownish which I'm not keen on for my black background but there are some that are slightly lighter I'm thinking I might go for the moss green and then a light olive or something like that but I'm going to start with the moss and these I'm going to do slightly differently because we've got this outline. I'm going to do the outline in the moss green. And I'm not going to press too hard because I want it to stand out from black. So, uh, I mean, it's not a really dark colour anyway, but I don't want it really dark. And then we'll... Um, I'm hoping all the leaves are like this on all of them. Yes, they are. Um, and then, yeah, the stem as well all of these you're in shot just about um yeah so i hope everyone had a good weekend i mean i know it's tuesday when you're watching this isn't it actually thinking tuesday is launch day for johanna bassford's book in america isn't it i think <gasps> how exciting oh my you might be watching this having already got your book <gasps> wow lucky you I'm 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 always so jealous because we don't get them in the UK until after you've got them out there. I was almost tempted to order it from America so that I got it, but actually the postage takes so long <laughs> it didn't make any sense. Plus I prefer the UK binding to the American binding and the UK paper. So yeah, it's a very personal thing. It's just I have had a, a US edition of um Magical Jungle and the pages start coming a little bit loose because they're not sewn. So, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, not so keen. <clears throat> now, you notice that I've ignored these triangles. I always do on this page. I've got no clue what they are or what to do with them. You could col have coloured them in a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. I don't know. Right, the next one is I want a lighter olive. I think actually the, mm, yeah, the light olive is what I'm going to go for. I've just got to find it. Is that it? I can't see. Olive, olive grey, black, olive brown, green ochre, maybe on the other side. Light olive, there it is. Sorry, I can't see. It was, uh, it was on the in a different bit of my pencil case, light olive and I'm just going to fill it in we're going to do it differently we haven't done this on any of them just block it in why not I can do this really quickly you may prefer to take your time or do something a bit different completely up to you I notice some people when I look at their, they followed my videos and then done their own thing in certain areas, changed colours, changed colouring style, that sort of thing. And I think, good for you. Um, it's, you know, you don't have to do it all the same way. And also, if you're using a different set of pencils, you might not have the same colours, you know, all that sort of thing. So it's just nice. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. 
right now. Mm, we have the orchids, I'm frightened of those. <laughs> but um, that's, yeah, we'll just move across to this orchid. Now we've got two the same here. Now I tend to look at these, and I'm not too sure about how to do orchids to be honest, but I tend to look at them and think that these bits are probably leaves. And this is the plant, that's my guess. Now, I'm not sure what colour they can generally be, but I'm looking at what we're near. Now, we're near pinks and oranges, so we want something a little bit different. Um, we don't want red, so we could go, I was thinking pale pink, but that's not going to work. So I think I might go with the raspberry red because it's very much a pink. Um, where are you? Raspberry red. Here it is. And I think it's really, really pretty. It's rather like a carmine, I think. Um, right, which one am I doing? This one. I think I'm just going to start and I just got to go for it and be brave. I don't need sharpening though. What I'm going to do with this petal is start dark where these lines are, which indicate to me that there's dark. Oh, my boy's just messaged me. Oh, good. I That's okay. I um, told him what I was planning for tea and he replied and went, yum. That's good. That's something very easy. But one of my boys will be home, the other one won't. The other one's taken tea with him. Well, he's taken a pasta salad and a cheese roll with veggies. So I've done that. So I faded up. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> So sorry. Oh no. So yes, dark down here. So more layers here, less up here. But this bit, I'm just going to fill in like that. There's a little bit darker there. And we'll do the same on this side. I'll show you because you wouldn't have seen it because I was out of shot. Sorry. <laughs> so a bit darker here. So just layering back and forth. like this and then getting lighter sorry my hand isn't in the best place there is it getting lighter up here now where these overlap you could put some shadow around there if you wanted to be fancy but I'm not being too fancy with this one I'm keeping it reasonably simple I'm hoping that the bright colors will just stand out and it will work without needing too much um, too much, what's the word, fanciness. Now here I'm a, we've got this petal, I'm going to get in there, and here, and up. I can hear my boiler coming on, it's right underneath where I'm sitting. Now we've got these dots that are going to be too difficult to uh, colour, like the dots on here, I'm just ignoring them. I might do something with them at the end. And you could do them in a different colour. You could do them, I might put a pen on top of them, like a white or something. Now I know orchids don't look like this, um, but I'm trying to make it easy for myself. I find, because I find them so scary, I just want to make it easy. I don't know why I find them scary. There's no logic. And I'm going to do this bit in the middle, this colour. Then we're going to grab the um, ruby red, which is fairly similar. Uh, but a little bit darker. Give it a sharpen. I'm going to do this edge. I'm going to try and make sure it looks like it's a different colour. Now red next to black looks really good, I think. You can see this is a bit less pink, if that makes sense. It's a bit darker. A bit more. And just really block in these edges. So hopefully going to look really nice against the black. Now, of course, you don't have to do a black background. If you'd rather leave it white, you absolutely can. 
and it'll look really different white or black. In fact I might show you both. Um, I can photograph it finished. It really doesn't show up very much does it? Um, I can photograph it finished with a white background and with a black background so that you can decide which you like. I always think that's quite a good idea because it's very personal what, what people like and dislike with regards to colour. My father hates black he, he really, really dislikes it. He just associates it with like funerals and things like that, which in the UK people do tend to wear black. Whereas um, in my generation, black is quite a chic colour, um, you know, and it's even acceptable now to wear black to a wedding. So I think things have changed, but he's old fashioned, that's fine, and he just doesn't like it. Mm, it's not a lot of contrasting colour there, is there? I know. I'm going to grab the white and see if I can get it to work on these edges to lighten them up a bit. Oh, it's a good white. Look at that. I don't know why I didn't know that. I haven't used it. So these bits that I want to be lighter actually make white. Now we get a bigger contrast between our colours. There we go. And it blends for us a little bit too. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I prefer that. I much prefer that. There we go. So that's that orchid. And we've got this one too. I just do the leaves that show you what colour I'm going to choose for that. Um, once I've chosen something, I can show you. <laughs> um, I think the peacock green might be rather nice. So I'm just going to sharpen that one. Just moving my pencils around, sorry. I'm keeping them in their little batches of colour of so that I know when I go back and colour each flower type, I will have all the pencils I need next to each other so I have to go back and watch my own video. So there's that one. It's a cute little colour, I think. Okay, so the one above is the same ish. The centre is a little bit different but I think just sort of alternate your colours a little bit around. So that bit you can do the same in that one. Actually it's quite similar. It's just that bit. So do those, um, the the darker colour, do that bit in there the petal colour and do that bit the darker colour and then I think you're there. Okay, so that's that one. Now we have more orchids down here. Yay! This is two here. Um, now I'm thinking I could go, I was, I might have done them peach but I don't think it's going to be dark enough. The salmon pink and the rose pink, I don't think they're intense enough to show up. Um, we haven't got much blue over in this corner so now I'm going to do that with that colour. That, that'll work. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's let's pick a blue. We could just go with what colour's that? I think the sapphire blue might work as our darkest colour. And what's that? Hmm. Uh, I think we can get away with the pastel blue. I don't think it's too light, even though it's called pastel. I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to try these two. I'm going to start with the pastel blue, actually, the lighter one. And then if it turns out to be a bit too light, I will change it. I'm going to do this one. Is that the right one? I'll just put my finger on it so I'll make sure. Oh, it's so near the, uh, the, the, the ring. Oh, well. So I'm going to put this pastel blue in this bit. I am going to try and make it a little more intense near the middle. The other orchid I didn't really fade, but... This one I would a bit. You can see what I mean. This, although it's called pastel blue, it's really quite dark. I think compared to oops, pastel colours. Don't worry if you've just done that like me. I don't know why you would <laughs> have done it. I mean, but um, it's going to be this colour anyway. Yeah, my one son's getting a bit worried. He's got a assessed presentation 
on Friday. It's a voice-over presentation, which means that you don't stand up in class and present, which I think would actually be a bit easier in some ways. You actually make a little film. Um, he's okay with it all, but he's in a team of four, and two of them they haven't seen since they agreed to do it together. They haven't seen them. So him and the other person are working really hard on it, but they're just a bit worried about what to do, about the fact that they sh they're they all supposed to pull their weight evenly. And they can't even find these people. They didn't turn up to... They haven't been turning up to the classes or anything. So they don't know what to do. So uh, they emailed them. They're being a bit slow. They're procrastinating because they don't want to... They don't like chasing them up because it's like... You know. But on the other hand, they don't know what to do. And they've been doing the work and putting it up on a WhatsApp group that they're all part of or, or something. Somewhere where they can all see it. So the other members of the group have got no excuse to... They should be checking and seeing that there are updates and, you know, seeing what's going on. So they're finding it hard. I think it's a, a sort of good learning experience for them. You know, I've sort of made a few suggestions, but I'm pretty much leaving him to decide what to do. Um, basically, he's decided that he's quite happy to do the work and let them get some of the credit because he doesn't want to lose his credit. And I think, well, that's OK. This is the sapphire blue. Um, I think I would probably do the same thing in that situation. I'd be very happy to do all the work as long as I got the best possible mark, you know. Because the whole group gets the same mark. So if some people are rubbish, then you you lose marks because of their bad work. So I think it's an interesting idea. Um, way to, you know, an interesting way to assess them. But uh, I, can, I think it's quite an interesting exercise, um, you know, just in working out what to do. I'm going to do this bit in blue, but this other bit I'm going to actually do in yellow, I think. I quite like the idea of having some... We have already got yellow and blue though, haven't we? What have we got? We have an, whoops, we've got an orangey. We've got this golden yellow. I just fancy doing that, but we've got... It gives us another blue and yellow. Mm, is that a good idea? I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I'm going to sharpen. I just think it's going to look nice. Just because it's similar to something else. So, golden yellow. If you um, don't... I would have probably done this black, to be honest if I wasn't doing a black background. This is where it can be important to plan your background first. You don't have to do it first. When I do a Posca pen background, or a, I never do it first. And that is because you can pencil on top. So if you go out of the lines, you draw on top of your background, and I prefer it to be the background that's the last thing I do. But that's up to you, what order you do. Oh, missed that bit, didn't I? Um, yeah. So you might prefer to do the black first. I find it better the other way. And then when I go out of the lines and stuff, I can cover it over with the black. Right. The leaves. Let's have a look. Um, I'm quite wanting to do the spruce green, but I think it's a bit too dark. So I think I might go for the emerald. Is that going to work? Yeah. And you can't visualise, you just have to trust yourself a little bit. Right. Emerald green. Stop thinking about what might be in Johanna's new book. I think it is um, Halloween. Um, she's planning a flip through, and whoops, and so that would have happened by now. So that's exciting. 
I'm just making it darker near the flower, lighter towards the tip. There we go. Now we have one last little different flower here, and it's just a really little bit. Um, Hmm. Now that's, we've got a lot of blue here, so what are we going to do? Um, we could do gold, but we've got several oranges. We could do, no, we don't really need any more blue, do we? What about different pinks? What pinks have we used? Let's have a look. No, that's... Mm. Yeah, let's use these. Let's use the purple violet. It's quite dark. I think we can get away with it. So I'm going to use it for the centre now. We've got this sort of flower bit here and this bit. I'm just going to block it in because it's quite fiddly. And then this petal we're going to do in this colour. I am, again, just going to block it in. There isn't much of it to do. There we go. Now I'm not sure if that, I think that bit there is a leaf, not a petal. It's too close to there to be another petal. So we'll do that as a leaf, but we'll just, so that was the purple violet. I think I might do the purplish red for the um, for the outside bit, see it's reasonably similar. I'm just trying to do it a little bit lighter at the top. We've got a little bit more space where we can fade. Although this one's going to be underneath our orchid. I have to get a cardi in a minute. I'm cold, but I'll, I'll show you the last few things, and then I've got to finish the page and take some photos for you. So that bit, little bit of green. Um, I'm going to just use this one. This is the Empire Green. I can't seem to get the greens in focus. It's just the smallest bit. There we go. Right, so that is all the flowers, I think. I'm just having a quick look. Yes, but we've got two butterflies to do. Now, normally with a butterfly, I would do quite a lot of black on it. Um, all these lines, I would do black, but we're not going to be able to do that. So what I'm going to do instead is use a dark colour. I'm going to use this malachite green for the um, these bits. So every bit that I would normally do in black, I'm going to do in this, it's actually, I think it's a blue, but yeah, it's like a turquoisey colour. It's rather like, is there a cypress green in some sets? Is that the, um, is that the castles? Not sure. Anyway, so the whole of the um, dots and everything these bits, this bit, we have got to do the body, I'm not going to do the body in this colour, I'm hoping that I can, now the problem with our body is we have this, now when we do our um, black background we're going to completely lose those, so I have to think about what to do for that. Now, what I have seen people do is to leave a little bit of white, so colour over that, but leave a white gap to the side of it, or go over it with a white pen first and then do your black around it. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. Um, I'm going to have a little think. Or you could just colour over them and make them disappear. But to be honest, I think that looks a little odd. <laughs> Perhaps only because I know they should be there, 
but even so. So once I've done all this sort of dark bit, then we'll bring in a lighter colour for the inside. Now, I have said that using really light colours doesn't always work with black, so I'm being a little bit careful. But I want a sort of turquoise green or a jade green, and they are both really light. So I'm having a think. I think perhaps because we've got mainly this outline around the sections, you know, these sections that are going to be, it might work. But I think I need to make it quite intense, just in case. We don't want it to look um, washed out. Right, that is that bit. Oop. Now, um, yeah, I think the jade green is a slightly more intense colour. I'm going to pick that one. Again, it's quite bluey. So, jade green. And here I'm going to make it quite dark. Intense, lots of layers there. And then fade to the tip. But still try and keep it reasonably intense. I'm just going to block these in at the bottom. It's not enough space. Now for the body of a butterfly, I would normally use a grey. I would usually use a fairly dark grey, maybe a charcoal or something. Um, but we don't want to go that dark, but we don't want to go light and wishy-washy, so we need something in between. Um, in this set there is a colour just called grey, and I think that's the one that I am going to end up using. I've got these bits to do. Oh, my letterbox went and made me jump. <laughs> I think I'm going to do these bits this colour as well. Oh my gosh, I wonder what letter that was that made me jump so much. I shall go and have a look later. It's probably just an advert, a takeaway leaflet or something. <laughs> there we go. Now grey. So as I said, just the grey. to sharpen. <sighs> now what I think I'm going to do is cut it over this in grey, make it a little bit thicker than it is marked out as and hope that I can colour around it. There we go, so that's that butterfly. And up here we have another butterfly. Now this one is a little bit different in its, um, in its, how it looks. So we'll just, I'll just show you a little bit. Um, I'm thinking, I'll show you the dark bits and I'll do the light bits off camera because I'm going on a long old time. Now this is Malachite Green again. And I'm going to do this time just these small bits. And then on this one, the outside. Now it's symmetrical, I'm only going to show you one side. And all the way around the edge and this bit. So what I'm going to do now is to go away and finish all the colouring that I have started. So it, following exactly as I've shown you doing it all and I will come back um, know that I would also do my black background while I'm off camera and I'm going to use a black Posca pen PC1MR um, I'm going to do it 
now because um, if my pen runs out I have to go to the shop and buy one this is quite a new one so I'm confident there's not a lot of it's not huge so I'm going to do all that and come back and I'm going to probably do some white highlights and I shall show you those back on camera okay so I'm going to go off and do all my pencil work and be back so uh, good luck if you're doing it but I suspect you'll want to keep watching uh, I'll see you in a bit Right, I am back having coloured in uh, most of the page. I did notice a little bit that I hadn't pointed out to you, which was here, look. Now this is actually um, one of these flowers, a little bit, which we coloured on Monday. So I'm just going to, whoops, grab, I think it was purple and light purple. So I'm just going to do that with you, um, just because I haven't sort of talked you through that one. So there is our purple oops and here is our light purple now you notice i haven't done the black back black background what i decided to do is to do the white detailing first and then you could see how it looked on a white background completed and then i will do the black background after and just show you we're still at the end with the black so i've got a white pen this is my jelly roll 10 and i'm going to do all sorts of little white details i think i'm just going to move my pencil sharpener out from underneath um my elbow and then put in some dots i'm going to put some dots around the here on the sort of darkest bit of pen pencil sorry because i think that will show up the most i'm going to do the same on each flower i want to just try and add a little bit of prettiness um to them not that they aren't pretty already it's amazing what a few little white dots can do to a page I think especially once the black is there it will really show up I hope so that's the plan so this is going to happen on all the blue ones but I'm sort of working across and down the page so I don't smudge the white so on this one I'm going to put a dot on each of these circles I'm struggling to see I might have to guess a bit because I can't see I've calculated, I've worked out while I was colouring that one of my glasses lenses, my right hand eye, I can't see clearly out of any part of the lens, close up, far away, it really needs doing. I've got to take my boys to the optician, it reminded me actually, and it reminded me that they've had their eye test and got some new glasses, and they were booked in for a fitting on Wednesday, and my one boy had said he was going to um, possibly go into uni on Wednesday and have a meeting with his group. Um, for a presentation he's got to do on Friday and even if he doesn't he's got quite a lot of pieces of work to do so I just messaged him and said did he want me to change the appointment which I've done um, so I've made it at the weekend and as his presentation is Wednesday then he'll be done I'm going to put lots of dots around the outside of these as we've got just plain colouring I think it just lifts it and I'm going to put a couple in there as well around the edge you can do whatever dotting you wish it's not um you can do lines you have to do dots now these i thought i'd try and go around the edge of them and leave a bit of a center but i don't know if that's going to work if i'd used a thinner nib it would have but i haven't so we'll just see how it turns out and I'm going to put a few around the middle. There we go. Um, I can do this one next. And I'm, there's actually some dots drawn on here, so I'm just going to use those. Thank you, Jana. <laughs> and around there. This one again, just around. Now with the butterflies, I'm going to do them on the darkest bit. And quite a few. I like white dots on butterflies. I don't know why. but I'm just going to put lots on. I don't know who it is that I got this idea from, really. But a lot of colourists use it, I guess. Someone must have started the trend. I don't know who. I think Chris Cheng may have done it on one of hers from World of Flowers, but I'm not sure. <sighs> if you're going to copy someone, copy the best, eh, Chris Cheng? <laughs> I might do one of her tutorials this month. I'll have a think. 
although we, I might have to do it this week if I'm going to do it though. Hmm, be interesting. Right here. My stomach is rumbling. It's quarter to a quarter to eleven. Ah, and my brain's telling me it's quarter to twelve because of the clock change. That'll be why. I'm going to try and hold out because worse I'll never get used to it. I start eating early. I've got some leftover chickpea dip that I made yesterday, and uh, so looking forward to that for my lunch. So uh, some toast and some. Maybe some, I've got some, a lot of sugar snap peas. Oh, I've just had a message. I can hear my phone blinging in the room next door. I didn't bring it through because uh, I didn't want it to irritate everybody. But uh, I don't know who's messaging me. It's not my kids or my husband. They're all messaging me about an optician's appointment. Uh, but uh, anyway. <laughs> That must be a different message. Maybe it's a Facebook message from someone. Oh, they'd sent my nieces some WhatsApp messages. It's like, how many different messaging services am I using? Well, <laughs> too many. So I use, um, oh, I put that dot on the leaf by mistake. Um, I use WhatsApp for my dad and my nieces. And I use, I think I'd go around there. I use Discord for my sons and my husband. I use Facebook for my sister and Instagram for some of my friends. Like, really? <laughs> right. I think around the edge of this one. On the darker bit. Now, it's going to take me quite a while to do the black background, so be warned if it's something you're going to do. You need to be patient. Um, it does take a while, and sometimes it needs more than one layer, depending on how neat you are and what pen you use and whether your pen's running out or not, that sort of thing. So it's... But it, I, I also find using a pen gives me a um, blister... It sounds really weird on my little finger here and that's because when I use pencil I'm changing colour I'm lifting it up to sharpen it all that sort of thing there's dots here I'm just going to use them okay. but when I use a pen I can just keep going and going and going so I tend to and then it for some reason it gives me blisters more so I have to be a bit careful but this isn't a big area so I should be fine it's when I do a really big area that I tend to notice it more. Okay, here we're going to go around here. Try and see. It's a bit close to me now. I should be able to see what I'm doing. But I'm still seem like I'm guessing half the time. Yeah, my boys have got some new spectacles they need fitting. They had their eye test, and because it's their last time of being able to get free ones, because you can in the UK it's very old. You can have free. Um, dental appointments until you're 18 if you're in full-time education you can have free opticians appointments until you're 19 if you're in full-time education why why i've got no idea and um prescriptions i think are the 18 free but i'm not sure because they haven't had to have one thankfully um, my nieces have prescriptions, but they can't get them free because they're students. Students are deemed to have enough money to not be allowed to get anything for free. Unless they come, it's because um, it's done, I think it's based on parental income, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think so though, because her parent, her mum gets free prescriptions because she's a low income. I don't really understand it. But anyway, she can't get it. She's tried. Um, so uh, she has to pay. 
Right, oh, we've got this one. I think there's some dots down here that I shall do. Um, I shall do one in each of these. Right, so that is my finished picture with white pen. And now I'm going to dive in and do a black background. And I feel it's going to transform it. But, I mean, until I do it, I don't know for sure. But I think it's rather, I like it. It's rather pretty, I have to say, uh, with all the different colours. But, um, you know, we'll find out what happens when it goes black in the background. And I'm, yeah, going to go get a coffee and then get stuck into that. So thank you for watching. Um, yeah, enjoy the, uh, hang on and see the finished picture. Um, I hope that was okay for you. And uh, please tune in again. And in the meantime, please subscribe, like and comment. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much and happy colouring.